back at it again and um you just can't make this stuff up man <laughs> i mean it just gets funnier and funnier the things that come from the left like share comment hit that subscribe button if you are new big shout out to officer tatum too and let's dive in before they put you on the field teams poke pride and examine you searching for any defect that might affect your performance. No boundary respected. No dignity left intact. Come on, boy, hurry up. Look at that shape there. Look at this. Mr. Farber, I got your bid. 30, James, 30 to you. 100. So, next one coming up, best one we got. 500, 500, 600, right here. Look at this here. Come on, who wants this? Seven years later. Bro, you can't play football no more. You ain't, you wasn't that good when you played. That's why you were on the bench taking a knee. You were. <laughs> Shout out Officer Tater, man. <laughs> this stuff is just laughable, man. How do you come out with a video like that? But then, well, <laughs> but then you're begging to go back to pe play for those same people that you accused of running the place like a slave trade. I mean, you really just can't make this stuff up. You really can't. I mean, my goodness. Um, Pinned a letter. I am sure of my ability to provide you with an elite QB option. If God forbid QB1 goes down. However, I know that there may be, may, whoa, <laughs> goodness gracious, I can't read today. <laughs> I know that there may naturally be uncertainties uh, from you and poss possibly uh, from others about my playing abilities. This plan, I believe, allows me to be of great service to the team as a practice squad quarterback. So not only is he was he asking to play, but he wanted he was offering to play as the practice squad quarterback, which isn't even actually on the team necessarily. Uh, it's not even like uh, uh, what what do you call it? Um, um, I'm, crap! I'm losing the I'm losing my verbiage here. Um, the practice squad is totally separate from the actual team, right? It's not even like a second string or third string. Like he's on a totally different kind of uh, team, if, if I remember correctly, is is what he's trying to uh get on here <laughs> so <laughs> while also giving you a low commitment chance to assess my cap capabilities to help in any other capacity you may see fit worst case scenario you see what i have to offer and you're not that impressed best case scenario you realize you have a real weapon at your disposal in the event that in the event you ever need to use it and either in either either of these scenarios uh i would be committed to getting your defense ready week in and week out all season long and i would wear that responsibility like a badge of honor as a final point i would like to add this unlike many of the veteran qbs that have been named in the media i've never retired or stopped training my training schedule has remained the same for six years monday through friday 5 a.m to 8 a.m training on the field and in the weight room i've kept this training schedule without failure for the past six years in hopes that an opportunity will present itself i say this to give you some perspective on where i'm at physically i have also attached a list of my references within the league that will vouch for my character work ethic and ability thanks so much for your time colin and then of course you have john harbaugh uh who's the michigan head coach I forgot he coached for the 49ers too. Interesting. But, you know, to, to take the time out of your day to pin a letter to the alleged slave traders, I, I just find um, interesting to say the least, right? I, 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 I don't know, man. Like that, that is just, if, if I felt someone was treating me as less than or, you know, disrespecting me in that type of way, I'm not going to want to work for them, especially for a lot less money. Like he was asking to be on the practice squad. I don't know how much practice squad players make. Uh, obviously, it's not as much as NFL players. NFL players, you know, 
15 million a year, 20 million a year, 10 million a year. Hey, <laughs> don't get it twisted. I'll take that check. I I used to love playing some football. I, I I get the CTE and all that good stuff. But anybody that's ever played football, you know, we know. Like, it's fun. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I know there's risk to it. I Hey, listen. I get it. There's a lot of risk. But playing football is fun. Especially when you the one making the hits. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Woo. Boy. Anyway, um, apparently Charlemagne had something interesting to say about it, but also somebody else. Check this out. We sad and downright pathetic that Colin Kaepernick wrote that letter because he, he has let his setback become his identity. You know what I mean? I, I said it a million times. God exalted Colin Kaepernick into a position of leadership. God didn't have nothing to do with that, Charlemagne. God ain't, just like you ain't a God, God didn't have nothing to do with Colin Kaepernick doing what he did. He did that through malice, manipulation, and coercion. God ain't in that. That's why he where he at now. Regarding the activism, and it pains me to see that man begging to be in a league that he called racist and compared to a plantation. And I hate that he can never speak for himself. He always got somebody else speaking for him, or putting out messaging for him. That's so whack to me. And I wish Colin the best in all his endeavors, but just begging the same people he called racist for an opportunity is absolutely pitiful to me the purpose that he serves now and has served over the last few years is way greater than football and it's first of all no it's not if he actually had some true activism it would be better than football bro you telling me that that fool running around lying uh hating on his parents who raised him who are white by the way uh, uh, neglecting his white side to just embrace a black side that he don't he ain't never grew up knowing and then he making documentaries Making stuff, talking about the NFL is racist, suing people, putting money in his pocket. He ain't done nothing for black people. He ain't done nothing but become rich off of this theology that black and brown bodies are struggling. That dude ain't done nothing. Bro, you, if you were making 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, 60 million in the NFL, that's way more than fake activism. It's kind of a slap in the face to Allegedly, God of course. to not embrace that and yeah. not accept that and continue to beg these same people you called racist and said the league was a plantation, right. you begging to be back in chains, Colin? But this is your, this is, I'm, I'm using your words. Right, but it's almost- You said that this is a plantation. So you begging, please chain me up, master. I, I don't even, you can put me on the practice squad. I don't even want to be on yeah. the actual team. I, I, chain I me like up that. with the practice squad. I, and I will always take- Now here's Stephen A. Smith's take. And I'll just say this real quick. This is, this is an example of why we all know the NFL ain't racist. You, you Listen, you got to be a complete stupid fool to think that the NFL is racist. How is the NFL racist when well, the majority of the NFL are black players making a ton of money? How is the NFL racist? They wouldn't be wanting to put hundreds of millions of dollars in the pocket of black people. They could have white boys playing. How is the NFL racist, my man? Y'all just be, black people be just making up stuff to be a victim. The NFL ain't nowhere near racist. And the reason why these NFL teams are owned by these white people because they decide to be owners and not players. And I mean, it's not that easy, but what I'm saying is that there's a how many of these black players or black people decide I'm going to own an NFL team? All the wealthy ones. I'm talking about the billionaires. They're not trying to buy an NFL team. They don't want nothing to do with that. It's probably not a good uh, investment in some of these teams. Anyway. I don't believe the NFL is racist at all. I do believe the NFL owners have their best interests in – Rightfully so. Rightfully so. NFL owners should be looking out for themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. We all would if we were put in that same position. Hey, I'm going to make sure I make some dollars and cents. I spent a lot of money to buy this team. I'm going to make sure I get every penny back out of it. Right? So just because some player is playing well, hey, and, you know, this other player that is playing similar got paid a certain amount. I don't believe you're actually worth that price. So this is what I'm going to offer you. Yeah, I do believe some players get, 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 you know, uh, according to, you know, other standards, obviously they get paid some buku bucks. Um, even though I guess technically they should, because they are like beating the crap out of their bodies. I mean, you got to think these are grown men that are 200 plus pounds each running full speed at each other. Yeah, they got some pads and things, but anybody that's ever played football, Sometimes them hits don't be feeling too good. <laughs> them, them hits, man, that, 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 stuff, that stuff hurts, okay? With the pads on and everything. Uh, but that has nothing to do with 
racism, you know, them wanting to offer players less money or anything like that. That's just making sure they keep their dollars and cents as anybody would, right? So uh, th this whole narrative that the NFL is racist, I think he made a great point in saying that there's a lot of black. As a matter of fact, I would say the NFL is predominantly black. I, I don't I don't know that with 100% certainty, but some of the top players are every single year, right? I can name some players off the top of my head right now. All black, great players, you know? So uh, I, I just, that stuff is weird to me, man. It's racist. How? Because they won't let Colin play. He's trash. If I remember correctly, Colin had lost his starting job before all this stuff had even went down. Now, there was a point in time where Colin was 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 decent. Absolutely. I'm, I'm not delusional. I'm not simply, I'm not just hating on this man. As a matter of fact, I believe he took the 49ers to the Super Bowl. So there, there was one point where he was actually a decent quarterback. He wasn't always trash. Once again, I'm not just sitting here hating on the man. I'm just speaking. I'm just speaking what the, what the facts are. He lost his job, if I remember correctly. And now, after six years, you want to just hop back in? You lost your job before, and so you think you've gotten better not playing for six years? Highly doubt that. I, I highly doubt that. But you know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> because I will never, ever, ever change my position on this. In the end. As of November 2019, when he had that tryout that the NFL organized and he elected not to show up and instead had that at a high school, an hour and 20 minutes away, Swagoo, Mad Dog Russo, Molly, I said on first take the next morning, it is over. Duh. He's done. I said it when he took a knee for the first time. It's over. He ain't never gonna play again. Nah. And I stand. It was it wasn't over then. I I I'll disagree with him a little bit there. Uh but listen to what Stephen A says. By that. And to this day, I have not been proven wrong. Now, Molly, y'all could put up the timeline of the events <clears throat> that involved Colin Kaepernick from the time of 2016 to now. Let's keep this in mind. Most people don't sue. August 26, 2016, sits down during the national anthem to protest racial inequality. Jeez, that was so long ago. 2016, my goodness. That was forever ago. <laughs> um, uh, September 2016, begins kneeling to protest other players join. October 15, 2017, so the next season, uh, <laughs> unsigned, he files grievances versus NFL alleging collusion. <laughs> The very next season. And then I, I, this is that workout that Stephen A was talking about here. Let me get my big old head out of the way. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, NFL arranges a workout for him at the Falcons facility. He moves it to a high school instead. I, I believe I do remember hearing about that and thinking like, wait, what? Why did he move it? You know? Um, and then, of course, he sent the letter to the Jets right there. Let's keep this in mind. Most people don't sue their former employer, and then turn around and try to go back to work. That doesn't happen. But Roger Goodell, NFL league offers, in concert with Jay-Z and others, essentially assembled this, organized it because the individual teams were scared that if they didn't pick him, they would get accused of racism or whatever it was that they were. They doing all this for a black dude. They ain't never in the history of the NFL did this for somebody white. Ever. Fearful of. Those were the things that I heard. So they didn't want to take on the individual responsibility as a team, which was why the league, for the first time in league history, organized the workout. All right? Tried to get him to sign a waiver. He said it's not the typical waiver of player signs. They said, of course it isn't, because we've never – usually a team does that. But it's the first time in league history the league is organizing it, and we have to protect ourselves from you because you just sued us, okay? All he had to do was show up. And I personally was told at that time, if the brother showed up to the workout because of public pressure being brought down upon the lead. Because he's black. And the fact that we were all watching, he would have had to throw the football in the stands to not have a job in two weeks. That was a quote that I received, doggy. He would have had to throw it into the stands to not receive a job.
but he didn't show up. We go in that there. I I I don't need to even show anymore. I mean, like this this whole. I I, I personally believe all of this stuff is just total BS. Total BS. It's just a show. It's just a show. And in my humble opinion, it's just to make more money. And listen, I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him. Make your money. You know, I'm 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 not hating on the next man to you know that's trying to make a dollar, but like it's just the way he's going about it, right? That is just. Uh, you call them slave masters and you involve slavery into it. And he, I believe he actually won a settlement against the NFL or something like they settled or something. If I remember correctly, it's been a long time. I could be wrong, but you sued them allegedly. And now you go back to try to work for them. I, I'm just, I'm just confused multiple times now. That, that's, that, that just doesn't, if I'm the NFL <laughs> and he sued me, and we settled, bro. I'm suing him back to get my money back plus some, plus interest, <coughs> right? Because if I'm if I'm such a terrible person, why do you want to come back? Why do you want to come back? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something I'm missing about this whole equation. But that 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 just doesn't something just doesn't seem right to me here. You know, like two plus two isn't adding up to four here. It's like seven. <laughs> you know, like what in the world? This this ain't the math ain't mathing. <laughs> You know, I was the greatest at math, but this this equation isn't, it's not quite adding up here, right? I just, this whole situation, and of course, for those of you that don't know, uh, the quarterback for the Jets, um, Aaron Rodgers, went down literally the first play of the season, the first play of the season, and um, he, I think he tore his uh, Achilles, popped his Achilles, so he's out for a good amount of time. There's, there's speculation that he could return, uh, for a playoff run or, 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 you know, at least he said, I, I think, I think he said that because of some new type of surgery that they can do on the Achilles and yada, 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 which I, Hey, listen, I, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, that, you know, we can do that, you know, get somebody healed up and ready to play on a football field again in a matter of months, not years. That that's absolutely insane to me, uh, and something as important as an Achilles tendon. Yeah, that, that's that's wild, absolutely wild. But um, so yeah, I, Collins saw that there was vacancy. Jets backup quarterback. A lot of people say he's absolutely garbage. Uh, I haven't really watched the Jets uh, much at all, really, to be honest with you. But. <clears throat> A lot of people say that their backup quarterback is absolutely trash. So Colin was trying to, you know, hey, look, look, NFL, here I am. I'm still working out. But it's just like, I don't know. If I'm the NFL, I'm not hiring him. Why do I want the drama? Why do I Why do I want the circus that comes along with that? You know, plus the last time we saw you on an actual NFL field playing actual football, you didn't look too great. So why? But I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about it in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.